team league I mentioned that Jalen Hurts will be the eighth black quarterback to play in the Super Bowl one of the other players on that list Colin Kaepernick who of course we know hasn't played in years after he was ostracized for taking a knee during the national anthem there's so much work that still needs to be done there's still a long way to go in the league when it comes to diversity in the coaching like I just mentioned and the executive rank so what does the league need to do to keep on making that forward progress I think they need to keep progressing forward. You know, this is one of the last, last milestones on the field that we had to overcome as far as African-American players, but there's still a, a ways to go. And as you said, particularly uh, in the front office and with head coaches, you know, I would like to see the NFL look like the NBA where over half the coaches uh, look like the players that, that are playing out there on the court for them. So this is not going to happen. Uh, you know, we keep pushing and pushing and, we just had uh, a, another young black coach who was hired down in Houston. So they just have to keep progressing with that. And it's not going to come slowly. But, you know, with my sons and, and the next generation that's coming, coming after me, I think they're going to be able to see that. You know, Marvin, I do want to keep the focus on the critical issues. We all enjoy watching the sport, but it is a violent sport. I know that you're a big advocate when it comes to CTE, making sure that the NFL players that are retired um, because of CTE or because of their disabilities, that they make sure that they continue to get the benefits that they need. One of my favorite players is Willis McGahee, and he has a quote that I wanted to read. He said, once we stop playing, we're all used up. We deserve to be taken care of. He's a part of a class action disability lawsuit. Do you share the concerns that this sport also needs to evolve when it comes to safety? Of course. You know, uh, and I always say, like, in the 1950s, top three sports were baseball, boxing, and horse racing. Well, it, and, and then the NFL took over. But if the NFL wants to be the number one sport, you know, going forward in, in, in 2030s and 40s, they're going to have to make this game safer. And, they, and the safety of the game is going to come through science, but not only through science, but making sure that they're taking care of, you know, the players after they leave the game. I would like for the NFL to get a health plan, health care plan like the NBA has. I keep mentioning the NBA, but I think they're kind of model. For all their former players, they have a, a, a full health plan. Uh, we don't have that. Uh, I would like for guys when they exit out the NFL to get a cognitive and a neurocog, see a neurocog co doc doctor because CTE is the NFL's industrial disease, and we have to do something about it, man. We have to make the game safer. I got one last question, and it's just one answer I need from you. Who's winning today? 
Uh, I'm going to pay homage to like Marlon Briscoe and James Harris and those guys, and I'm going for the uh, black quarterback today. <laughs> Oh, you know, you should be a lawyer. Spoken like an actual true lawyer there. Marvin Washington, my friend, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know you'll be tuning into the game. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Same to you. I hope everyone enjoys their nachos and wings.